Okay, I'm gonna play the blue sweatpants girl sound. Let's see how long it takes before my wife pops in here. I'm in the bathroom right now. Wait, Did you just knock? Since when do you knock? What are you doing? I was just using the bathroom. What are you watching? I'm not watching anything. Oh, you're so funny. And we'll try it one more time. Are you watching it? I'm just using the bathroom. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you doing? I can hear the da 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 da. I can hear it. I have nothing what are you here. doing? I'm, I'm pooping. What are you doing? Do you just come in here to watch Blue Sweatpants Girl? I'm using the bathroom. No, you're not. You're on your phone and you're what? You're watching that video. Baby, my pants are down. I'm taking a shit. What are you? You're you're watching that video, that viral video that everybody. Baby, what are you talking about? The viral video where the girl's just belly dancing and she looks really good and you're in here it just watching it. It doesn't ring a bell. I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard of that video. You know, that's crazy. Like, let the man have his privacy. So what if he watching the blue sweatpants girl? So what? You're violating his anonymity. <laughs> um, the reality of life is that it's always going to be somebody that's attractive, right? And um, that don't necessarily mean that you make a move or you reckless eyeball, but men are wired that way. And unfortunately, with social media and the way the algorithm work, if you watch something for like 30 seconds, now it's going to constantly feed you certain images and stuff like that. Um, to each his own in their relationship. Some marriages, a woman don't want their man on Instagram or TikTok or anything, especially where it, they can see other women for whatever reason, like they don't see him in real life. But some women, that is a deal breaker for them. Maybe she's that woman. But personally, me, in a situation like that, I couldn't do it respectfully to my wife. One, I'm not going to step out on my lady. And two, it's nobody on the internet that can take me out of character and make me do something I'm not supposed to do. I see women on a daily basis, open my phone, the algorithm, just feed me all kinds of images, whatever, right? But that don't mean that I'm looking at my wife like she's not that, you know what I mean? Or I'm not attracted to my wife or like, I'm just like lusting and desiring these women. Two years though, like I'm in comment sections and inboxes and stuff like that. No, some men do, however, it's just, this is just one of those things to me when it just all depends on the people. Like, I know my lady going to see handsome men, men that look better than me, with six packs and four beers that ain't patchy like mine. It is what it is. But that's not going to affect my self-esteem and my security because I'm him in my mind. And that's how everybody should feel about themselves. You can't be that insecure where he know his lady. That's why he did this prank on her, right? And she's taking it serious. So after this is over, he has some explaining to do. Say, see, see, look, I was just playing. And then she said, go ahead and post it, whatever. Because you know this is not getting posted without her approval. And some women be in, so they in, inside of their own bubble so much, they don't even see how they look. And unfortunately, you don't even see what type of goofy situation he in. First seen that video. You're playing the music right now. Oh, not the playing music. The, music. That, the, the music coming from your phone is the one where the girl is dancing in the dra or in the in the blue sweatpants. I don't think so. Yes, it is. Blue, I've never I've never heard of it. Don't say, say dumb. You're watching it. You're watching it as you're sitting on the toilet. I'm not watching anything, babe. I don't know what video you're talking about. You I've never lie. seen it. I'm not lying. You are lying because you always look like that and you look away. What do you like? You're in I, here taking so long, and you're just watching that? I'm not watching anything, babe. Yes, you are watching it. Baby, can you close the door so I can... Stop my playing it. <laughs> I remember one time, my wife told me she could see, she looking in my glasses, and she could see what I'm watching. And I, and it was like, she, she ain't tripping nothing crazy, but it was just so funny after the fact. You know what I mean? It was like, dang, I felt violated. So, like, if I'm going to look at something on the phone and taking my glasses off, she won't get that reflection. She should have kept that one to herself. But, like, me personally, like, if the tables was turned, I wouldn't give a hell.
You know what I mean? I wouldn't. You know, like, I just don't. That's just me. Like, to each his own, I just don't. Like, you want to see attractive people. We see people that's attractive, but my heart and eyes and body belongs to one person. I don't care if you see somebody that's attractive. Like, that is not a thing. It is not a thing. Some communities it is. Some people it is. That's just not a thing for me. That's not the deal breaker. Like. Actually, give me your phone. Give me your phone. You can you can still wipe without your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give it to me. Real mature. And the fact that Cho just dropped his phone or whatever. And um, I think a lot to me. It's the violation of privacy. You know what I mean? Like, let that man have whatever time he's having in the bathroom or whatever. Um, Just got to give people their space. And I know what marriage is, like, I don't know what type of boundaries are in marriages. In marriages, if they exist, there's really none in mind. I don't really have no privacy, but my privacy when asked is respected, you know, and vice versa. So you know what I mean? I'm not um, looking over your shoulder while you're on the phone. I'm not going through your pocketbook. I'm not doing none of that. Because to me, being married or in a long-term serious relationship is not a prison to me. You're not ball and chain. I'm not nobody ball and chain, and I don't want a ball and chain. We only get one life, and it's not promised tomorrow. No one is. You should not feel like a prisoner to a person or their insecurities or their fears. These things that you need to work out before you commit to somebody. You understand? And, and it can be stressful and it can be hard on other person. It's not fair. You know, if this is a thing for your lady or your man, you know, if you really love somebody, it's nothing to sacrifice. You don't have to look at other people. But, like, you're going to see other people, and it's not just on your phone. So, like, you need to work on yourself and who you are and how you feel about yourself before you commit to anybody. And it's not okay just because you're married and this man took vows or this woman made vows, and you just act a fool and create a situation like this where it's crazy because now you just unhinged about all your insecurities and fears and it's somehow the person you're with fault. 